Welcome to Solver Fee. Just we can calculate the angular velocity at our crank OA, and this is going to be 180 times 2 pi times 1 over 60, which will give us 18 pi radians per second. Then we want to calculate the velocity at point B. We're going to take 18 pi and multiply it by 0.13 to get 2.34 pi meters per second. Then the angular velocity at um, AB is going to be 2.34 pi divided by 0 0.36, which will give us um, 6.5 pi. Then to calculate the velocity at D, we're going to take 6.5 times 0 0.54, which is going to give us 3.51 pi meters per second. Then we want to calculate the acceleration at point B. This is going to be 50 times 0 0.13, which will give us 6.5 meters per second squared. Then we want to calculate the angular acceleration um, at link um, AB. This is going to be 6.5 divided by 0 0.36, which will give us 18.06 radians per second squared. And then lastly, we want to calculate the acceleration at um, D. This is going to be 18.06 times 0 0.54, which is 9.75 meters per second squared.